What are the major impacts of power outages within the African continent? Uh, Africa uh, it has a complex issue today. There is a lot of demand for electricity, uh, but there's a huge uh, demand and supply gap. So there are two issues. One, there is a, a, a demand and supply gap, and sometimes we also see the quality of uh, power that you get in Africa is not that good. Uh, I can give you an example. If you take uh, the context of South Africa, which has about 55 million people, it has about uh, 45 odd gigawatts of electricity available. But if you take Nigeria, uh, there are about 180, 170 million people living there, and the uh, electricity, the installed capacity over there is between two to four. In fact, it was about four gigawatts, and now it's about two to 2.5 because of some issues uh, over there. Uh, and if you take the context of the consumption of power uh, that you have in Africa, it's way lower. The per capita consumption of power in Africa is way lower than what you would see in the US or any other developed country. Uh, so I, I feel, you know, there's a huge uh, demand and supply gap over here in Africa. Uh, and Cummins is, is a big, uh, you know, producer when it comes to not just standby generators, uh, but also generators that are for prime power and continuous application. Uh, so Cummins is here to, uh, to supply, you know, energy solutions uh, to the continent. And we hope uh, that this requirement for generation in Africa will, will increase over time. What exact solutions does Cummins provide in terms of dealing with this problem? So Cummins has uh, products which range from 10 kilowatt going up to 4 megawatts. Uh, we have products that operate on diesel. We also have products that operate on gas. Uh, in Africa, there is a lot of availability of gas in places like uh, Mozambique, Nigeria, Algeria, Egypt. So Cummins has a wide variety of solutions for power chain applications. Uh, what we also do, it's not just supplying the product. Uh, we also have capable distribution in all of Africa uh, and a lot of distribution that we have in Africa is, is, uh, is Cummins owned. So if you take uh, South Africa and if you take Ghana, you take Nigeria, Senegal, uh, some of these large markets that we have, Angola, including Angola, you know, some of these large markets that we have, Cummins has its own presence. And what we want to make sure is that we are providing consistent support to our products all across the continent. So, so we, we are in the business of not just selling the product, but also the entire solution, starting from supplying the product, making the power available, and also making sure that we are supporting the product through its life cycle. Can you take us through how the Cummins Power Tour came about? Yes, the concept's got uh, very, very strong roots in Cummins. Actually, in 1931, uh, Clessy Cummins, the founder of the business, um, he actually, incidentally, went across a couple of cities in America, you know, building the awareness of the Cummins brand, uh, perhaps looking for funding, etc. And then we used the concept in the UK, in effect, last year in Europe. To uh, just to spread the word out of Cummins and the solutions, etc., and, and we've now, you know, Cummins has got a significant interest in uh, in the opportunities in Africa, and we've decided to bring it to South Africa, and then uh, over the next week and a half, and then uh, take it through into other cities in in Africa as well. What are the import possibilities and opportunities available to South Africa in terms of the gas to power goal that the government has? Yeah, that's that's certainly very topical. You know, just uh, briefly, the the in internationally, globally, the uh, the use of natural gas and power generation is about 21% of total power produced. In Africa it's only 4%. So that means there's significant uh, headroom for uh, for gas power generation. So a lot of our gas, most of it comes from Mozambique. Um, there are plans afoot to bring in a second pipeline and, and we, from a Cummins perspective, certainly very excited about that because we see uh, lots of opportunities for, for gas to power generation. And uh, generally, do you think that uh, gas-generated power is viable uh, for South Africa? Yes, it, it most certainly is. You know, the, the, essentially the days of, of mega power plants. Mega power plants will always be required, but uh, there's also a need to build smaller distributed plants, which means that you're actually taking the power to the people, um, and that's where gas really plays a, a role. It's also uh, far more. Uh, you know, the, the emissions are far more acceptable uh, against international norms, both now and going forward. Um, it's also uh, there's less noise. Uh, and one of the main advantages of gas power plants is that you can take the heat of the exhaust and the engine cooling and you can use that heat either to uh, for heating applications, for exa example a hospital with a laundry or, or um, sterilization purposes etc.